Hello! Welcome to Majesty's Deco, where we imagine and create. Please remember to subscribe. Hey guys, so I had this table at my house, but it had a problem with the legs, they got weak. So I decided to make something better out of it. I'm going to show you how I did that. Let's get into it. First of all, I'm going to do the woodwork. I'm going to make the frame, as you can see. For the frame, I didn't have any definite measurements. I used the measurements of the glass that I had, that I removed from the table I had before. So this is what I have as my frame at the end. I used leftover wood I had in my house. I didn't buy anything for the frame. Uh, so these stuck nails are the ones I used to hold my cardboard on my frame, I just took a piece of cardboard I had in my home with these tack nails and I held the cardboard to the frame using the nails and a hammer. You can also use a staple gun. As you can see, for my edges, I used a staple gun to staple the, the cardboard on the wood. Make sure you staple all round and that it's firm and does not have spaces in between. Then I cut off the excess cardboard I had. So after cutting off the excess cardboard and I only had the cardboard on the frame, no excesses. Then I used glue and show you have a strong enough glue to hold your foam. I applied glue on my cardboard all through. So I took my one inch foam. I made a line using a ruler in the middle of the foam. So I cut the foam, I separated it into two pieces. Then using a pair of scissors, I cut my foam into two pieces. Then I put the foam over the cardboard. As you put it, make sure you press it enough so that it holds tightly. I then cut out the excess foam I had. So in my case, I had one inch foam and I needed two inches foam for this project. So I had to put another layer of foam on top of my first layer of foam. I applied glue again on the first layer of foam. And then I put the other layer of foam on top of the first one. And then I cut off the excess foam I had on my sides. After that, I made tuft buttons. You can choose to space your buttons as you like. So we are going to tuft our table. So on the foam, you will need a pair of scissors to cut holes where your buttons will go through so that your buttons are deep enough. So you can choose to place your buttons in any pattern or measurements you want. So this is how I chose to do mine. Then you'll just cut the holes through the two pieces of foam up to the cardboard. Now I will cut my fabric. I will measure the length of my table. I will use that as my width for my fabric. In my case, I did not have a fabric that was long enough to cover the whole table all round. So I had to attach two pieces of fabric. I put them together using a machine. After that, I will now cover my table. I will still use uh, my tack nails and a hammer. At the corners, make sure you fold 
a triangular shape so that you don't have bulk. I will use my tack needles to just hold the fabric to the table. Ensure you get your nails through the places where you have wood. I will do this throughout the length of my table. After finishing the top side, I will turn my table upside down and do the same thing on the other side of the table. For our tufting, we will use nails. So I will take my tack nails and place it in the wood using a hammer on the inner side of the table. I attached my thread to my buttons. Then using a tufting needle, I will insert the thread through the holes. So just use your hand to fill the fabric and fill the places where you made the holes earlier. You insert the needle through that hole. As you insert the needle, make sure you pull it enough so that you form the tufting. Then on the other, on the inner side where I have the nail, I will just make a knot. I will just make a knot of the thread using the nail. The nail will be used to hold the thread. As you do this, make sure that you pull the thread firm enough to form that tuft. And as you make the knot on the nail, make the knot to be, to be firm enough to hold the thread without coming out. So finally, after, me, after inserting all my buttons, this is what I have. We will now go to the top of the table. As I had shown you earlier, the table I had earlier, I just disconnected the top glass table from the legs. So I have the glass table. This is wallpaper glue. It comes in powder form, so you have to mix it with water. So I mixed just a little amount of water with the glue. Then you stir it to form this thick mixture. This is the glue I will use to attach my wallpaper to my glass. So I will take the glue, apply it on my glass, and you do this on the inside part of the glass, the part that will be at the bottom, not at the top. Make sure you apply it evenly and make sure that it gets to all parts of the glass. So I have this wallpaper. I cut it using the measurements of my glass. I will then put it so that the part which has this marble pattern will be on the top side, will show on the top side of the glass. Make sure as you're putting the wallpaper to the glass, you don't have any air bubbles holding up at the bottom. So just use your hand to even out through the length of the wallpaper. I will then leave that to dry. Now I will attach my glass to my frame and I will use this glass glue. I will take the glass glue and just apply at the edges of my glass. You don't have to have it in the middle because there is nothing to hold in the middle really. It just needs to be at the places where it will hold to your wood. Apply glue. Apply the glue on the edges of the glass all round. I will then take my glass and put it on top of my frame. Be careful as you're doing this. So make sure the glass is evened out well. I will also let it dry. So you can see at my sides, I had space left. So I had to cover up this space. So I had to use this bling wrap and it was thick. So I had to cut it at the middle so that it becomes two. I will just measure the length of the wood and cut the bling wrap. Since it was thick, I cut at the center to form pieces for both sides.
vegetable. Using the same glass glue I used to attach my mirror to my wallpaper, I will use it to attach the bling wrap on my table. So I put the glass glue on the, my bling wrap and just spread it using my hand so that the glue covered every part of the bling wrap. I will then attach my bling wrap to the sides of my tables. On both sides, I will do what I did on this side to the other side again. Now I will attach the bling wrap on the edges of the table. And this is what I have guys. I really love it. Yay! Thank you for watching this video. See you next time. Bye! Please don't forget to subscribe and like and share thank you thank you for watching this video please remember to subscribe so that you get notified when we post our next video see you next time bye